Good morning. You are listening to Upreach, a morning devotional presented by the Church Street Church of Christ in Lewisburg, Tennessee, to encourage you as you face the opportunities and challenges of today. Let's begin this day together with some inspiring thoughts from God's Holy Word. Then one of the scribes came, and having heard them reasoning together, perceiving that he had answered them well, asked him, Which is the first commandment of all? Jesus answered him, The first of all the commandments is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first commandment. And the second, like it, is this, You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. Mark chapter 12, verses 28 through 31. One of the insoluble problems of a person who becomes a public figure is that he no longer belongs to himself or to his spouse or to his family. He begins to belong to the public, and there is a very real sense in which that has to be so. A great surgeon cannot refuse to carry out an emergency operation because he happens to have planned a family party. A great police officer cannot refuse a sudden investigation of a crime because he would like to spend a night at home. A great statesman cannot refuse a tour of the country when he would much rather be with his family. A minister cannot refuse a summons to comfort the sorrowing and soothe the troubled and the ill on an evening when he has planned an outing with his wife and children. The demands of public life are merciless and inexorable on the person who has something which the public needs and demands. This makes things very difficult for those who are nearest and dearest to him. Sometimes the human relationship collapses under the strain. All talent is a responsibility, and the greater the talent a person has, the less he belongs to himself. Jesus himself said that anyone who puts even the dearest relationships of life before him is not worthy of him, Matthew chapter 10, verses 37 through 38. But where love is great enough, and where love lets itself be known, even this problem can be solved. What about you today? Are you giving of yourself completely in your service to the God who loves you and who gave himself for you? Even so, are you, because of your great love for him, also showing matchless love to those who are near and dear to your heart? Why not ask God to help you in your quest to love Him with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and to learn to love your family and neighbors even more than yourself? This has been Upreach, a presentation of the Church Street Church of Christ in Lewisburg, Tennessee. I am Kyle Bolton, the pulpit minister at Church Street, and I would like to personally invite you to come and share times of Bible study and worship with us each week. We meet every Sunday at 9 o'clock a.m. for our morning worship, followed by our Sunday school for all ages at 10.15 a.m. Then we meet again at 6 o'clock p.m. for our evening worship. We also have a midweek meeting for devotion and Bible study on Wednesdays at 6.30 p.m. I hope to see you there. Have a blessed day. I'm going up the highway that leads to mansions grand. I've started for that kingdom beyond these desert sands. No more I'll stay in Egypt, I'm bound for Beulah land. I'm traveling the glory highway. Running up the highway of the King of Kings in the light of His blessed love. Everywhere I go, His praise I'll sing. Till I reach the home in heaven above, I'm going on each day with faith secure from the way I'll never go. Oh yes, I'll run to the gates of glory land. Land, at the end of the highway is home, I'll reach that land of promise, some morning by and by, I'll be at home with Jesus, beyond the starlit sky, my race will soon be ended, the time is drawing nigh, I'm traveling the glory highway.